be no black here folks and this is pretty much if you follow the arrow that's pretty much what we know as to be the equator today folks it goes right there the Dominican Republic and actually lately it may have changed but there is the new axis the new equator folks right along there all right coming down over Washington and then over the Dominican Republic the Dominican Republic here and then on out that's the new equator we all know when we grew up in high school and stuff like that in grade school that there was the equator down here like this well we've turned that much folks Pino Black still with you here folks not used to this new system here of recording but here we go we are on Mars folks I looked and found one of the comet information data that the original supposed original finder of Comet Elenin had told somebody on the other end to discard this information about a comet. Okay, I'll give the comet name and number on. Well, I'll give it to anybody that needs to know it. Now maybe they're supposed to have this information of Mars and this rover footage, folks. But I don't know. All I know is it looks a little fishy to me. Now I do have information of some photos that I viewed the other night that I'll show you the photos at the end here. I have them in my pictures that the idea that there pretty much is water on Mars, folks, and they haven't told us. Now this is, I believe, either the color or non-colored one. They have it listed as a color and non-colored one. And let me go to that. You can see down here in the corner, the McMurdo pan Panorama Spirit. All right. And then you can also see... Uh, yeah, this is the color one, I think. Okay, I think it says that this is the false color one. This is a false color bit one. The other one, I don't know. I guess it was the regular color one. But this is the false color one. This here one. So, I guess we can't trust that as being the, the water. So, I'm going to be able to show it to you in a photo. So quickly we move over to Elenin on Soho today, folks. That's right. There is Elenin, Commandant Elenin, and the founder of the so-called founder, the Russian. Oh, yeah, I found it. Well, as far as we can tell, Commandant Elenin has been known since 1939, folks. It was found in 1939. That is Elenin, folks, right there on Soho today, and it's on stereo ahead and I'm also going to be able to show you the super giants we also have Elenin down here on today's date folks it's right there and it'll move back in a minute let me get the the there is Elenin folks it's a flash drive like I've showed you if you watch the ones I showed you on the, the V my names in my videos I don't even really remember I've made so many lately because I didn't have sound, but now we've got sound. And there is Nibiru, folks. And if you want to see how big Nibiru is, well, let's take a look. There's the sun, one of the big solar flares, folks. That's one of the big flares there. And then we'll scroll down here just a little bit, and that's how humongous Nibiru is, folks. And that's also how humongous Common Elenin is, folks. And it is a flash driver. It flops. And it's spooky. It looks like almost like a skull or something like that there. And it also looks like crosses up there in the skies, folks. Because we'll go down here to the gray slate behind. And there is Nibiru, folks. You get a little bit better look at what Nibiru and the material that's coming around with this comet Elenin looks like. This almost looks like a cross is embedded in the sun because this is stereo behind today's date folks that's today's date 10-1 and there's common Elenin I'll move up to the blue so you can kind of match it up that is common Elenin folks and there is also part of common Elenin the asteroid not near the Earth, folks, but it's going to be here in October. And the common Elenin is pretty much, with a lot of other materials, such a big 
asteroid belt or cluster or whatever they want to call it. And as you can see, this will pretty much, when we move down here to the same behind shot in the gray slate, will match. There is common alanine, folks. That is common alanine. And there we go with Nibiru right there. And there is also parts of common alanine, asteroid alanine, whatever you want to call it. And there's lots of numbers. That's why I ended up bumping into the Mars rover footage that somehow, either covertly or that's the way it was supposed to have been done, some information, this or that, that here you can have some s Mars rover action. Because it was in some common information that was thrown away. Supposed to be discarded. That's what his words were in his comments. Okay, so now we've got common alanine in right there. So you might want to call your congressman in your center and find out what's really going on, folks. Because here's the super giants that I've been telling you about, and it's the truth that it's up there. And yes, it's kind of spooky looking also. It looks like an eagle or some kind of old ancient Aztec Indian sign, folks. Native American Indian. This is material of the super giants around here, around the sun, folks. I believe that is Stereo Ahead so Core 1, today's date. And I've been telling you about the super giants and the material up there. I've been showing in other videos. Super giants are 74 times some of the suns are there. There's 200 suns there. 100 of them are bigger than the sun, our sun, which we probably, possibly, very much have more than one. And here, I believe, is also some more of common alanine down here. Common alanine in Soho today. And there is Nibiru again. And we can show you how humongous Nibiru is by going up and looking at the solar flare off the sun. And there's one of the flares. And then we move back down. And there is Nibiru, folks. Nibiru and common alanine and asteroid alanine. Asteroid belt that's... Oh, NASA says on Thursday it's not very close to the Earth, but it's sure up there, folks. And he's lying, too, because it's there. There is common alanine, folks, today on SOHO, and he said it wouldn't be visible. And he was eating his words before, so I don't know if he just wasn't getting the information that he wanted or gave out too much information that NASA didn't want to give out, and there's common alanine on the front view. You just turn it around. Those back views... This blue one down here and also this gray one are behind views. And yes, there's Nibiru again, folks. Nibiru right there. Almost looks like a cross, folks. And there's Alanin. And Alanin's tetrahydrons. And... On the frontal view, today's date, SOHO, and this is blown up a thousand, so you can see this stuff clearly. And here is also, like I say, super giant material around the sun, folks. And that's basically what all this down here also in the gray and black shot here of behind. When you see all those dark spots and material down here, that's super giant material, folks, all over and around the sun. All kinds of molder, boulder, and they're big. They're bigger than Earth, folks. I even believe Nibiru and Elenin are bigger than Earth, folks. It's a 90 kilometer, 90,000 kilometer, I believe, is what we have for a. So watch this guy's video on YouTube, folks. Common Allen questions not being answered about it. Why? He's got a video on YouTube. Look that name up and watch that video. Now, folks, when I say they, you know what I mean when I say they. They are always they. Power, money, and control. They are lying. It's an asteroid belt, not close to Earth. But it will be in October, folks. They said it's not close to Earth, but it's there. And he's double-talking, folks. I don't know if he's a Russian spy or what. But he said to throw some information away on a comment. When I looked it up, I found that Mars footage, folks. 
And I have a photo here I'll show you at the end that pretty much makes me confident that there's water on Mars, folks. Now, folks, we still have also this to show you from those guys. And basically, that's everything. I have a disclaimer at the end that basically everything is educational, folks. We're just passing information on here. And this is how this comet asteroid Elenin Nibiru, there's numbers and stuff and so forth, too. And we'll get into that later when I get on in the future of how close it's getting to us and so forth and so on, folks. But November 8th through November 12th, and I believe October. We've got some dates, and I'll go to the videos that I've got real fast, and they'll show you the dates. But it's a flash player, folks. This is the sun. This here is just a mark from the my screen froze up. This is the sun here, folks, and these are a lot of these objects. This is Elenin. This is all pretty much Elenin and Nibiru here, folks. Nibiru, Elenin, and this is a face-on shot of the sun, just like we're looking from Earth. So there's Elenin. Now, I could be wrong on this being Elenin, but the idea that it sure seems like a flash player, like an 8 that goes and does the flashing up and around, up and around, up and around. So, Elenin asteroid in the V on the NASA old emblem, folks, is pretty much what this is. It's a phenomenon. It's been up there for years. And we're finally getting the visions through SOHO with a great camera action and everything like that to be able to tell what this big V that does all this flash playing of these objects to us here on Earth, folks. If you can see from the amazing grace video that I have of the sun being flashed down of images, folks, and it'll get even more vivid and clear after someone starts submitting some stuff that's on the moon that I'll be able to also disclose to you folks. Lots of secrets up there in the sky, folks. And if you also watch the Dirty Truth, the Truth Exposed, folks, folks, the Truth Exposed. It's another one of my videos there on the, on the Mars thing again. It looks like water there, but I've got a better one than yet. We'll see if we can find it here. Now, up, you need to start looking for V838 Mon. O30. Okay, folks? And around that area, there's the sun and a lot of these objects, folks, that are around the sun right there. Basically, the common Allen and asteroid phenomenon. That's pretty much the, if you look at the, uh, the hour, minute, and second, that's where you start looking for it, folks. Now, I, I found all that stuff on Soho, folks. There's all kinds of funky stuff up there around by the sun you can find if you really start looking, folks. There's the sun again, like I say, and there's this common Elenin phenomenon in Nibiru, folks. It's all up there, folks. It's a gigantic flash player. The powers to be of some time long forgotten or still, who knows, folks. If I had a Martian, I'd knock it down and stuff it and have a museum and be a real rich man, folks. So... Here's an actual graph of the V.